So recently I switched my screen recording software for my tutorials. I moved from ScreenFlow, which was a Mac only product, over to Camtasia. Now I wasn't planning on doing this, but I encountered something uh, in ScreenFlow when I reloaded it onto my new machine uh, that I, it just makes it unusable for me right now. So I was on an old MacBook Air. It was an Intel based machine with eight gigs of RAM. Now I'm on an M2 Pro running Sonoma with 16 gigs of RAM. I expected to be able to switch over to ScreenFlow very easily. And this is what I encountered. So you're looking at ScreenFlow right now and you can see uh, this audio clip here and the waveform is just super tiny. Now before, this, when I ran ScreenFlow on my MacBook Air, I had a very pronounced waveform, very easy to follow and edit. So let me just play this waveform back. It plays fine. I've done other videos and rendered other videos in ScreenFlow with this super small waveform. Nobody said anything about the audio, but here goes. All right, this is a test of the waveform from a ScreenFlow uh, screen recording. So let's see what this looks like. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Now that audio was through my Shure MV7. I wasn't recording audio directly out of my M2 Pro. But anyway, you can see that waveform is just so tiny. Editing this is just nearly, you know, impossible to do. So then what I did is I figured, well, let's go to Google, see if we can find anything, nothing. I could not find anybody else encountering this problem. And I began to wonder if I was, had some kind of internal system setting uh, that was incorrect. Um, and I just couldn't find anything. So then I went out to another, uh, YouTuber that I watch. She's done lots of screen flow tutorials. And I just asked her, I said, Hey, just curious. Uh, have you ever had your audio waveform and screen flow appear very small? Just upgraded to a new MacBook pro reloaded screen flow. Audio looks normal. Audio waveform is tiny. My guess is ScreenFlow doesn't like the new Sonoma OS thoughts. Can't find a fix online. Thanks in advance for your help. And she wrote back, I have noticed that as well, honestly. It's really annoying. I'm not sure what the fix is. So I pretty much assumed um, this person would have a fix if there was one. And she encountered the same thing. So then I thought, well, this is going to be easy. I'm going to go to ScreenFlow the website, and I'm going to ask them for some help. So need help with ScreenFlow. There's a knowledge base. There's a way to contact, contact them. There's sales help. So I went down and how to get help. Contact us through the new Telestream support portal. Requires premium support for $39 a year. And I went out to Twitter, pointed me back here. I didn't even try to go to Facebook and see if they had a Facebook page. So once I saw that the Telestream support was $39 a year, I thought, well, you know, maybe this is the time that I switch, switch over to DaVinci Resolve. I wasn't too sure if that was going to be the best choice for me to do uh, the types of screen recordings that I wanted to do, so I switched to Camtasia. So Camtasia has been working out for me really well. Again, I have no skin in the game for either you know, Camtasia or ScreenFlow. I'm not a, an affiliate for either product. I'm basically doing this video because I've got to imagine there's other people experiencing the same issue with ScreenFlow as well. I found this transition over to Camtasia pretty easy. Uh, they've got a really good help system. And I was up and editing videos probably after about 10 minutes of reading. That's my little issue that I have with ScreenFlow. I did not want to switch. It wasn't my intention. Um, but, you know, again, this audio waveform is just so small that it's just really makes editing very difficult. If you have any ideas how to fix it, let me know, because I could see myself using both ScreenFlow and using Camtasia. Uh, they both have uh, some great features. Um, I don't 
think one is necessarily better than the other, although I think maybe Camtasia is a little more feature-rich than ScreenFlow. But I certainly hate changing so to another type of software after I've learned how to use it. It's been working out so well for me. But I know some other people may be having this problem and looking for an answer. I'm not sure what it is yet. So if you happen to know what the answer is, please comment in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, subscribe. Don't forget to check out my website, mikeshuey.com. Sign up for my free newsletter when you're there. So until next time, take care.